the amount of capital the government at this point in time is provided for is minuscule in comparison to what the rest of the world is spending. You see, uh, this is a start. And when we got this project, we have very clearly told this is a start. Hmm. So initially, this funds have been provided. And if we, be, if we go at the pace that we want to go, hmm. additional funds will be made available. You look at what happened in semiconductors. Yeah. They started with 10 billion, and the ministers already announced that the next 10 billion will be available. Hmm. So this government is very clear that if required in any particular technology, hmm. they will put the funding required. You see, hmm. this is not an area hmm. where it's an if. Hmm. This is an area where you have to be there. Hmm. If you're not there, your country's future will be at stake. Hmm. Each and every piece of financial systems, uh, any other systems that you can hmm. think of, can be brought down by anybody anywhere in the world. What is the role then of the private sector that you see? And how do you, how do you get the private sector to collaborate? So this is something that we are seriously discussing at this moment. We have decided to call a lot of the technology companies hmm. and sit together with hmm. them. You mean the some, TCS, Infosys, yeah, yeah, yeah. HCLs of See, the pros of the world? It's yeah. not that they are zero. Yeah. A, lo a lot of them are already working on quantum. But one of the major things that is going to happen, let's say I was talking about uh, crypto, uh, you know, the uh, basically the communications mm. area. Mm. Now, if they go to a customer, a financial customer in America, and they tell TCS, can you please implement quantum safe mm. uh, uh, technology here? They won't know. It is very imperative for them to know. If they don't know, they yeah. will have a trouble. J JP Morgan just two days ago announced readiness for quantum. Mm. So, you know, people are all over the world moving very fast. fast. And the United States took a decision two years mm. ago mm. that they have to be quantum safe in each of the critical mm. areas. Mm. What is being prioritized today to See, ensure uh, yeah. quantum safety? There are two routes actually right now. One is that you have the complete communication using quantum uh, methods, mm. which is called quantum key distribution, okay. QKD. Right. But there is another powerful alternative, which is post-quantum cryptography. Mm. Essentially, it means we will use the conventional computers mm. with high power, but it will change the uh, security uh, protocols mm. instead of RSA and so on. It will be those algorithms which were, which cannot be even broken with quantum computers. Okay. That's why it's called post-quantum cryptography. Okay. What does it mean? It means, see, our cryptography is based on mathematically hard problems. Yes. That's all. We must replace the conventional RSA, AES, mm. and so on mm. with mathematically harder problems. Mm. There are candidates yeah. which uh, 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 NIST has in USA has put a challenge. So that is the challenge we have now. So this is where we are getting ready. But how imminent is this threat at this point in time, Mr. Chaudhary? I mean, we're dealing with regular cyber attacks and cyber security related issues. We're dealing with things like, you know, WhatsApp scams and these regular phone call uh, scams at this point in time. I mean, how imminent is this threat today? Those are very simple things. Yeah. This is a very complex area. Here, what we need to do is to start working right at the top of the country. RBI is now, now starts to deeply look at a policy and a strategy to make each and every financial institution safe mm. for an attack two years later or three years later. It's not going to happen tomorrow. Mm. It can happen three but years later. But you're saying two or three years later. Who knows? Mm. Because the pace at which quantum technology is improving the capability of computers that are being created globally. Mm. A lot of them are being done in a very secret way. Mm. It's not that everybody is telling us everything. Mm. So we don't know when this will be. But I think it's important, just like what the United States has done. Mm. Two years ago, Biden passed a very clear mm. directive mm. to all institutions start becoming quantum safe in the next two to three years. Mm. So as a result, the defense systems, the security systems, the electricity grids, the financial systems are all getting going towards a plan with clear dates for putting this in place. Mm. So what our objective in NQM is to make the government and the top organizations like RBI aware mm. that something like this needs doing. 
So we've started work on that. You know, you brought up President Biden and of course India and the US have decided to partner on areas of high technology and so on and so forth. But what about a deeper collaboration, a deeper partnership on quantum uh, computing, on the quantum mission per se? What are your thoughts so on that? I'll tell yeah. you, uh, I mean, this is, uh, there is nothing confidential here. It's in public domain. Yeah. Under ISET, ISET, yeah. ISET, quantum technologies is an identified area. Correct. And uh, there are teams on both sides. And uh, the team from the Indian side, uh, I am uh, chairing that. And uh, US side, there is a OSTP and hmm. NSA team is involved. So there is a dialogue on that, but we have to take it forward. So it is just a beginning of that collaboration. Hmm. And my sense is that this is very, very important for both the countries because even the standards have not yet been finalized hmm. in many situations. So standards will be one immediate thing, sandboxes to yeah. really have the technologies hmm. verified. Hmm. All that has to be done. So I think the international cooperation with the correct sensitivity hmm of making sure that uh, both countries uh, progress and uh, uh, make sure that, uh, that together the mm. strength increases. Mm. So international collaboration is important and uh, with appropriate uh, uh, considerations it should be done. Self-reliance and self-sufficiency is also going to be critical. Is that not the case, Mr. Jodhra? Absolutely right. So that's something that we will take care of. That's the reason why we have decided to go and set up these four thematic hubs. And our whole objective is to become self-sufficient in this area. And wherever we come across an opportunity for a collaboration, mm. we'll carefully evaluate and tie up areas where we believe we need some technology. Mm. You know, at some stage, India should even be open, whether it's semiconductors or this area or any other area, if some technology is far ahead of us, we should have the capability to go and buy it and bring it back. Mm. So those kind of thoughts should be there in our future planning. I'm not mm. saying this is part mm. of our plan today, mm. but this is something that as a country we need to do. And that is what will happen when the whole mission takes off under thematic hubs. More and more people will get created, more skills will get created. And that will help us in the future. Just give me a break up of what we should expect in this year, the next 12 to 18 yeah. months as far as the mission is concerned. So let's go sector wise mm. because uh, uh, giving a very generic answer sure. will not be helpful. Let's take quantum computers, quantum computing. In quantum computing, our thrust will be on two fronts. One, to build indigenous capability for the hardware mm. because that cannot be ignored and we cannot just be uh, buying it uh, sure. in future. So that will go on and it will start in a modest way. From 7 qubit, it will go to 25 qubit. Okay. That is a very, very good progress in one year, along with the error correction hmm. uh, in a systematic way. Hmm. And so in quantum computing, the other part, which is very equally strong, is the quantum algorithms. Okay. We do not need to wait for our quantum computers to be ready. There is time available. You can buy the time okay. on uh, cloud, on quantum computers, and you can work on quantum algorithm okay. in which India has always been strong, our yes. entire software industry. Yes. So software as a service will be a big thing. Okay. So we will have to do two-prong attack. Our hardware, all the supply chain on the hardware, mm. and the quantum algorithms. Coming to quantum communication, mm. In one year, there are two uh, objectives. One is uh, land-based, okay. uh, fiber optic based. Right. Already 200 kilometer has been demonstrated. Okay. And there is a proposal to take it to 1000 kilometer with uh, trusted nodes in between. Okay. Because you need in between 200 kilometer or 150 to boost. That would happen. At the same time, the satellite-based quantum communication mm. Already there are two or three groups which we know are at a very advanced stage. Okay. That would happen. And as you know, there is already a talk of a quantum uh, satellite. Satellite for quantum communication. Right. ISRO is uh, going to do that. Third area, which is uh, quantum sensors. Mm. There are two 
very very important sensors right now okay one is the magnetometer very very fine magnetic field to measure so that your brain can be mapped second gravimeter which means the uh, earth attraction is not uniform here if there is a tunnel below or ah. if there is a hidden thing you can detect a very minute change which newton couldn't have done mm. yeah. that yeah. is called uh, quantum gravimeter, gravimeter. Yeah. okay and good news is our three groups have already demonstrated that okay. in a lab scale so what we have telling them put it in a portable way okay so that is the third initiative right and fourth will be how to make devices uh, in india like single photon devices single photon detectors and right. so on so that we don't have dependence on the forum startups who are watching this what's your pitch what's your message to them invest in this area this is going to be a huge opportunity globally we are already seeing some startups really competing with the best in the world and i think it's time for startups to get deeply here and funding will be available from what i what we can tell you funding we will provide from nqm and there are interesting vcs who are today coming and talking to us and mm. saying we want to invest in deep tech so things are changing gentlemen thank you so much for joining us for now goodbye and see you next time